kill your darlings. It's actually a writer's phrase. Um, essentially what it means is there's characters or a setting or a storyline that the writer just absolutely loves and they think is the greatest thing in the world, but they have to really step back and see does it fit in the big picture. If not, then sometimes you have to kill your darlings. Maybe it's your favorite thing, but really it doesn't work or it doesn't belong. We're living in kind of an extraordinary situation and if there ever were a time to assess what your darlings are in your business that maybe you love or maybe it's a tradition that's been passed down or just kind of how you've always done things, now's the time, unfortunately, that you might have to kill a darling. So I want to give a specific example and also a bit of a shout out to a company. So there's a company called Sornex. They are a strength manufacturer and they make mostly collegiate level types of strength equipment, squat racks, etc. But right now, because all the gyms are closed, there's been a skyrocketing demand in the fitness industry for just home gym equipment of any kind. It's kind of crazy. And so what did Sornex do? In a matter of days, they came out with a very cost-effective, easy to ship rack for people to use with a barbell and some weights, and it's called the off-grid rack. And it's intentionally designed towards those people that are trying to maintain their health and their fitness during this craziness that we're all dealing with. And it's a fantastic version of Kill Your Darlings. They don't normally cater to this specific type of market, and yet they very quickly saw where a need was, and they adapted to it right away. So how can this relate to you? Well, this company often is, operates kind of like a, a B2B, and they have end users as well, B2C, but they're a manufacturer. They deal with inventory. They saw a need and they quickly shifted and pivoted towards that need while also maintaining the hectic schedule that they have to keep for their regular business. So find that place for you, for your business. Kill a darling if you need to. It sounds easier said than done, but it's necessary. And it might make the difference between your company making it and not, as scary as that sounds. So to close this all out, I want to give you a quote from uh, Patton one of the greatest generals ever. A good plan violently executed now is better than a perfect plan executed next week. And in the time that we're dealing with, that is exactly true. I'm James, this is Whiteboard Wednesday. Stay safe.